here we go. This is it. This is the fight that uh this is the matchup that I personally have been really waiting for. Like really, 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 really looking forward to using Francis and Ganu. I think he uh I think he feels pretty goddamn good. He really does. Um I love how powerful he is. Um I love how quickly you can end fights. Like it, it really is not much different from, from real life. If you can if you can find the right shots, you can end it really early. So right now, we're facing Derek Lewis. I promise you guys that is not gonna be a boring match like their actual match. I guarantee you that. It is not going to be a boring match. We are going to look to stop this man. I'm ready. I think they need a rematch. I'd love to see a rematch between these two guys. It is definitely going to be a much better fight. Uh-oh, hold on. Hmm. So now the dangerous thing is... The same exact way that I can clean his clock with Francis, he can do the same with... Uh, there you go. <laughs> He could do the same with Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis is also extremely powerful in this game, which makes sense. I mean, he is the owner of the most knockouts in the heavyweight division. I mean, got him. Woo! That was a nasty overhand, bro. If you don't mind, sir, I'll gladly take the red corner back. Then you can get up. Okay. I want to hit him with more of those overhands. I like the way that one. I love the way that one landed. Like kick. And that's the one thing that I feel is very underrated with Francis, his leg kicks. And uh, when he's facing someone that moves as well as Sarah Gone, leg kicks will do him very well. Like if he can... If he can throw more of those leg kicks, who knows? Who knows? Now, of course, a lot of fighters can take leg kicks and still move very well. Like, it's not like... It's not like they eat a few leg kicks and then they turn into a statue. <laughs> you know, like, he's also... Like, Siragon also has Muay Thai experience. You know what I mean? So, he's no... Uh, He's not a newbie in terms of getting kicked in the legs. I'm pretty sure he knows what... Set him down again. He knows what leg kicks feel like. He's, he's taken a few of them in his lifetime from big man too. So it's not like it's going to be like a huge shock to his system. Rocked him again. It's not going to be like a boxer getting kicked in the legs the first time and going, what the hell is this? And the fight is over. Just like that, man. Just like that. It, it really does not take much. That was a random uppercut from hell. Damn, man. Francis and Gunner and his uppercuts are just absolutely brutal. I want to see that again. I want to see that finish again. What happened right there? Oh, yeah. Try to go for a cross. Boom. Banker of an uppercut. Almost lifted that man off his feet. Let's keep it going. All right, the Predator. Let's see. who We're going hunting. We're going hunting again. This time it is another Derek Lewis. Thank you. Jab to the body. Another shot to the body. If you are very good at, like, placing your shots properly in this game, um, Gunner is going to be a very good character for you to use because the bank for the buck is uh, it's pretty significant. Like, it will not take much. It will not take much. Next thing you know, they're getting rocked. They're getting sat down. Now, of course, you're going to you're going to pay for it in, in stamina if you don't. If you're not efficient, you know, if you're whiffing all over the place, if you're being overly aggressive and you're not actually landing, or if you're letting your opponent work your body too much, you will definitely pay for it in terms of stamina. But don't do it. 
if you're the efficient kind and if you can place your shots properly. Okay. This this uh, Derek Lewis right here is doing a pretty good job of working my body. That's how he wants to do it. There you go. Mm-hmm. Only a matter of time before I got. <laughs> that is uh huh. Got him back, man. We are just and the fight is over. This is just amazing, dude. It, these fights won't last. <laughs> these fights won't last. They won't last, dude. The predator is just blasting everybody away. Holy hell! Look at that. Boom. Left hook. I mean, it it has the fight just started. It's with every shot too. It's with the uppercuts, the the hooks, the crosses. Let's move on. All righty. So, uh, Cyril Gan versus Francis Ngannou. I think this is going to be the last one. Because uh, it took me a long time to get this to get this last one, and I do not like that at all. And since it is Cyril Gunn, let's see. My opponent is probably going to try to uh, implement the sort of strategy that he believes Cyril Gunn will use to try to beat Francis. So let's see. Yeah, and I am going to fight him like I believe. Francis should uh, fight Siragon. Patient. I, I I disagree with everybody that says that he should just rush him. Oh, if Francis is tactical against Siragon, it's not gonna play well. I mean, you guys you guys might be surprised. I'm telling you, man. A fighter like Siragon, what he wants is he wants you to leave yourself open. He, he wants to have opportunities to make you miss, to make you whiff. And Francis is above that right now. He's way above that. I'd like him to be patient. I'd like him to remember he's got five rounds to work. Use those leg kicks. Use his jab. Not focus too much on hitting the head because, you know, touch the body, hit the chest. And then just take your time with it. Because the thing about a powerful man is, man, that the power is always there. It's all about finding the delivery system, figuring out, figuring out a way to deliver that shot. You know, keep his defense really high. Check leg kicks. Check body kicks if you can. Um, and just. Take your time with it. Measured aggression, I would say. Measured aggression. Just the, the same way he fought Stipe. You know, the sort of uh, tactic he used against Stipe. Very measured. And when it's time to go beast mode, you know? You go beast mode. Kind of like I'm fighting this guy right now. Nope. See, I'm noticing he's trying to slip. Got him. Relax. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blow my wad trying to finish you. Come on, I'm not crazy. I throw two shots. I don't land. I let it go. I let you recover. Nice. Careful. All right. I can also I, I can notice that my opponent is getting like f for one he's forgetting about his leg kicks. <laughs> the moment I started to kick him in the legs, he kind of forgot about his own leg kicks. I mean, he he came in throwing leg kicks, but right now he's not really throwing many of them anymore. Let's see if he if he gets back to him in this round. All right, so now he's gonna start going for my body. I know it. That's why you went southpaw, brother. Rocked. Easy mode. Sit him down. Take it easy. There's no rush. I've got the power. I've got the power. Come on. Careful. Careful standing in front of me. 
He's standing in front of the Predator. Body shot. Nope. Uh-huh. Can always predict it. Another one. He can't hit me. He can't land. Come, oh, careful. <laughs> there we go. Just smacking him a little bit. Uh oh, he's discovered his switch kick. Sit him down again. That chin is not gonna last, bro. That's it. Relax, relax. Don't get rolled. There you go. Oh, he did. Stand up. Get up, Francis. Just get up. Jiu-Jitsu doesn't work, are you? <laughs> no. Oh, I guess I just... Maybe I just gave this guy confidence because he got that reversal. Maybe now he's thinking he can just wrestle me. Oh my god, I did. I gave him confidence. I made him think he can wrestle me. Oh my god, you are wrong, dude. You can't. It's just not going to work out the way you think it is, man. Don't go for it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Oh, they are so predictable. They are so predictable. How are you going to shoot three? Like, what are you doing, bro? But he, that was the beginning of a takedown shot right there. And I caught him at peak. I'm talking peak vulnerability with a nasty uppercut to floor him. I mean, it's just damn, man. These, yeah, I got to try to be less predictable, man. Because he got that reversal that he got on me from backside, that made him think, oh, this dude can't grapple. Let me just take him down, ground him. I'm going to be able to move and, and roll all over the place and beat him on the ground. And then he just started, like, getting super horny for the takedown. Jesus. Anyways, that is it. If you guys enjoyed the video, go right ahead and leave a like. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win the fight. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.